In the previous video, we traced over the CAD plan to bring up these walls. In this video, let's embellish the interior even more, creating some doors and windows. Turn the floor plan on again as a reference. I'm going to toggle on the X-ray mode so that we can see through and better see the floor plan. Let's start by using the tape measure tool and pull up a construction edge at 7 feet. And then using the rectangle tool and referring to the CAD plan, I can easily pull up a rectangle that would be the door shape. At this point, I can toggle the x-ray mode off and double click to select that door surface. I'm going to copy it. You can do that through the edit window. You can copy and paste or you can use the keyboard shortcuts. Control C for copy, Control V for paste, or if you're on a Mac, Apple C and Apple V. We're going to paste this, and you can see that it actually aligns with any surface we touch it on, which makes it very quick to put this around. Again, using the CAD plan as a reference, move this down into place, and then use the scale tool, always referencing the CAD file, and we quickly have that door. Of course, we're assuming all these doors are the same height, but they're not all at the same width, and that's where it becomes very easy to copy and paste this one shape then move it down and use the scale tool to adjust the width of the door. And this will work for us on all the interior and exterior doors, making it very quick to work our way around and cut these doors through the interior walls. Essentially this is the same process again and again. We created the one door at the correct height. And now I'm using push-pull to cut those doors through. Paste again. And by now you should understand how this works. We're not going to do the whole interior of the house. We'll just do this section over here so you can get the idea. See how quick and easy that was. And we could work our way around, of course, and finish the other doors. In this case, I can't see, so I'll use the x-ray mode to be able to move the door into place. Toggle x-ray off, and I can push-pull, erase the extra line. Works great. It's the same method that we're going to do for windows. Again, use the CAD plan as a reference. Start by establishing the height of the windows. Now, not all your windows will be at the same height, but for those that are, we'll do this and then adjust as necessary. So pull up two construction edges, and then just draw a rectangle. I'm not even going to worry about how wide it is, because I can use the scale tool and reference the plan to quickly get the width I need. Erase those, double click, and copy that surface, move around to another window, and paste it. Now unlike the doors that we didn't have to worry about the height because we could just paste it and put it on the floor, in this case we will. So I'll grab that corner, move it over here, scale it so that it's correctly uh, the correct width, but for the height, I'll start moving it by that bottom corner and just press the up or down arrow key to lock it in the blue direction and reference the last window that we created. So it doesn't matter where we place it on the wall. Start moving it from the corner. Press the up or down arrow key. Let's toggle inference lock and we can reference the last window. So it's a very similar process to creating the doors. And again, very quick and easy to do. That's all there is to it, really. Now you can come back through and start building out doors and windows, sills and frames. But for using the CAD plan as a reference, you can see how quick and easy you can start creating these models and building them out interior and exterior 